Okay, so the, the front end accessory drive, it starts about here, extends over to here, and then it's more or less this tall. But what we've done is, is dedicate a casting with two uh, machining operations that would replace the majority of the sheet metal um, and variability of manufacture and assembly that we've had in other, other designs. So starting here, the alternator mounts to this part. All of your idlers and belt tensioners mount to this part. The uh, heat exchanger for the engine plugs into this casting with two tubes and those tubes have double O-rings on both ends. Um, the expansion tank is actually uh, engine coolant on the front and integrated power steering fluid into the back, all in one tank. And this tank plugs into the front end accessory drive with two O-rings on ports. So there's no hoses at all in the uh, freshwater cooling side that, that's handling the block and the heads. Uh, the raw water pump and power steering pump are, drew, are mounted on that casting as well. So still single machining, aligning all these belts. The fuel pump vapor separator module, again mounted to the casting. To come around to the side a little bit, we've got an uh, engine oil cooler, which is engine oil and glycol as the cooler. So no raw water touching this part. Again, it's part of that casting. It bolts on with four O-rings. And then uh, integrated into it finally is the engine oil filter. And this is a uh, crushable, incineratable cartridge style. So you take this cap off, all you do is replace the cartridge. And that's the front end accessory drive.